Peace be to you my dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to the second day of the prayer of consecration to our lady. If you are also blessed to begin this prayer, feeling to continue this prayer, attracted to the immaculate heart of Mary, it is a clear sign that Mama Mary is leading you, guiding you, blessing you and giving you enough grace to continue this prayer. So some people may be thinking that yesterday I could not begin this prayer but shall I do start today to the prayer of first day today right now immediately after this session then uh, you can do the second uh, day just before you are going to bed okay so what i'm trying to say the grace of god is assisting us that is why we are able to begin this and continue this my dear brothers and sisters according to some church fathers when god is pleased in someone and willing to grant them eternity often he loves to share with them marian devotion some of the church fathers used to tell this therefore if you are attracted to the immaculate heart of mary and this consecration prayer it is a clear sign that god is blessing you god is giving you more grace to head toward the heaven with mama mary and again according to the experience of the people who are spreading this great devotion across the globe they would say normally all those who are serious about their own spiritual life and soul plus all those who are you know working hard and praying for the salvation of the souls to such people god is giving the grace to begin and complete this prayer mother mary is attracting and blessing such people to do this prayer so we can be so grateful to mama mary and god for blessing us also by giving the grace and assistance to begin this prayer so let us take it seriously we are chosen ones we are called by god to begin this prayer to continue this prayer and to complete this prayer so with a lot of um, zeal and joy let us continue these prayers and some of the saints used to tell you know one beautiful thing that when you are giving yourself fully to mother mary she will also give herself back fully to you so i am going to become you know fully uh, of mother mary and mother mary will become my own also that's what pope john paul ii used to say mother mary mama i am fully yours so let mother mary take control of us let mother mary lead us let mother mary you know Uh, take lead of our life and let it end in heaven for this let us pray may the lord bless us let us ask the intercession of mama mary mama mary help us to do it more meaningfully seriously and uh, devotedly amen the lord be with you a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew chapter 5 words 13 to 16 You are the salt of the earth but if salt has lost its taste how can its saltiness be restored it is no longer good for anything but is thrown out and trampled under foot you are the light of the world a city built on a hill cannot be hid no one after lightning a lamp puts it under the bushel basket but on the lamp stand and it gives light to all in the house in the same way let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your father in heaven this is the gospel of the lord O Mary conceived without sin refuge of sinners we come to you seeking refuge be merciful to us sinners and intercede for us to your beloved son amen he who follows me walks not in darkness says the lord by these words of christ we are advised to imitate his life and habits if we wish to be truly enlightened and free from all blindness of heart 
let our chief effort therefore be to study the life of Jesus Christ the teachings of Christ is more excellent than all the advice of the saints and he who has his spirit will find in it a hidden manna now there are many who hear the gospel often but care little for it because they have not the spirit of Christ yet whoever wishes to understand fully the words of Christ must try to pattern his whole life on that of Christ vanities and all is vanity except to love God and serve him alone this is the greatest wisdom to seek the kingdom of heaven through contempt of the world it is vanity therefore to seek and trust in riches that perish it is vanity also to court honor and to be puffed up with the pride it is vanity to follow the lust of the body and to desire things for which severe punishment later must come it is vanity to wish for long life and to care little about a well spent life it is vanity to be concerned with the present only and not to make provision for things to come it is vanity to love what passes quickly and not to look ahead where eternal joy abides holy mother of god who crushed the head of the infernal serpent gather and smash under your holy feet all the devilish techniques and traps that seek the destruction of us our families our society our church and the universe amen
Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Father, send your Holy Spirit into the earth now. May the Holy Spirit dwell in the hearts of all people. May they be protected from moral degradation, tragedy, war, and contagious diseases. May the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of all nations, be our advocate. Amen. Consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary Mother of God, Immaculate Blessed Mary, in the presence of God and the whole heavenly court, I proclaim you as my Mother and Queen, denouncing Satan along with his vices and wickedness. I consecrate myself to your Immaculate Heart, my soul, body, intelligence, mind, heart, and all my abilities I surrender to you, all my good deeds. My reparation of sins and their merits I submit before you along with the merits of the holy mouses. According to your will, please accept them and use them all along for everlasting life, glory of God and the salvation of souls. Immaculate Heart of Blessed Virgin Mary, pray for us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. 
precious blood of Jesus grant us protection the lord be with you may the almighty god bless you the father son and the holy spirit